Hello, today I'm going to show you how to take a Hagen Mini Elite filter, turn it into a CO2 diffuser. You can buy these online for about 10 bucks, give or take a dollar. And um, I got this one off of eBay, it's brand new, came in great condition. And um, what you'll get is this little tube, which you do not need. You can discard this for the application, you don't need it for the mod. Get rid of that. You'll also have a little flow control valve. You are going to need this to hold the sponge into place, so put that aside for now. And when I got the filter, um, what I did was I just popped off the cover. And you'll see a sponge inside there. You take that sponge out. Then you'll also see a little green flow control valve that pops right off. Don't need that. Stick that aside. Then what you do is you get your CO2 tubing. What I like to do first is sort of um, line this up. And this is going to go like this. Okay. So what I do is I will take my CO2 tubing, lay it in this little hole here on the side of the cover, like so. And you want it to go in about a half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch, on top of the impeller. So you sort of just snap that right back into place. And you'll see that it'll be pinched a little bit, but that's perfect. So it'll hold the, the tube into place. Then what I do is I take the sponge here and the flow control valve. And you'll see a hole there for the sponge that's already built in. And the fat part of the flow control valve sort of wedge that into the sponge. So all you're left with is a sponge with that piece sticking out. And basically all you do is you pop that into the outside hole and sort of grip it by that flow control valve inside. And that's it. You are good to go. Some people like to put an air stone on the, uh, the part of that um, tubing. And what that does is it'll help quiet down the, re the diffuser a little bit. Um, it depends, I guess, on where you're installing your tank. If you're putting it in your bedroom, it might get a little bit loud, but some people complain about it. Others don't have a problem with it. Give it a try if you like. But that's all you really need to do. Take the other end of your tubing, stick that into your CO2 bottle with your yeast and sugar mixture, and you are good to go. Make sure to look for the second video with the diffuser in action. Thanks. Have a good day.